Hello, this is from Milwaukee, the National Dog Day. And Gentlemen, your host brought to you by Hockey Logger. Go get all your hockey gear at 2002 West Howard Avenue. And as you can see, whoop, it's the Admiral's 50th season right here in our podcast. Well, still getting used to the green screen here from Milwaukee to Nashville. Um, brought to you by fans for fans. All right, so let's get into it. We, I'm doing a quick summary of what happened during the off season. So, what happened during the off season? We added a ton of goalies. We've got Ken Appleby, who played for the Manitoba Moose, the minor league team of the Winnipeg Jets. Oh. Uh, they, he had a, let's see what we got here. Come on. You know you wanna. Sorry if my computer's a little slow here, folks. So he had... 10 games in the AHL with a 3.9 goals against and a .884 save percentage. Not that great. We also added Cam Johnson, who is another goaltender. He played for the Bellevue Senators. And we added Connor Ingram, uh, one of the highly touted prospects from uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning for a 7th round pick in 2021. Um... Also, on the defensive side, we have it added Arvin Atwal. He played for uh, the Cincinnati Cyclones last season. He also played a couple games for the Rochester Americans. We added Jeremy Davies, fresh out of college, part of that P.K. Subban trade. We uh, signed David Fortuno from college at the end of last season. Um, we signed, the Admirals had signed Josh Healy. He's kind of a Scott Savage style hockey player. Um, he is uh, coming over from the Stockton Heat. Um, also, we added uh, Adam Smith from uh, college. This year we also added uh, Lucas Craig, Hunter Garlit, Alexander Giroux, uh, Thomas Novak from the University of Minnesota was signed by the Admirals. Uh, Rem Petlick, Hugo Law played a few games for us last year just to get his feet wet. Uh, and Josh Wilkins um, all added to the minor league roster. Currently, now that all also depends on how they do on ca at camp. So we'll see how that goes for them, but we'll see. Um, the Predators have added. Well, number one, they added Matt Duchesne. Most people already know that one. Matt Duchesne, highly touted uh, free agent from this free agency class. Um, they also added Daniel Carr, who was an Admiral killer last year with the Chicago Wolves. He had 14 points against the Admirals last season. Uh, let's see, what else did they add? Uh, oh, they added Steven Santini, part of the tr part of the trade um, with uh, the New Jersey Devils for PK Subban. Um. That's all I have on the Predators and Admirals right now. However, we also added something else this year. We added the Florida Everblades as a uh, minor league affiliate to the Predators and Admirals organization. We have an official ECHL team again. Um, a couple standouts for them is Michael Dowling. He is... Uh, uh, defenseman for them. Um, also, you have Justin Auger. Uh, he is a six foot six, two thirty uh, winger 
for them. Uh, you also have John McCarron, who also is a solid hockey player. Uh, anybody else of note? At this current moment, that about sums that about sums up the Predators' uh, free agency. Um, so, given that, uh, we have uh, coming up on uh, September twenty sixth and the twenty eighth, we have two preseason games at the Panther Arena. Both games. Um, will be held during our training camp. Uh, we'll be seeing, be able to tell, uh, we will be playing Chicago Wolves and the Tucson Roadrunners. Sorry, I had to remember that. I'm not going off a of script here. Oh, man. Um, other than that, uh, at this point, um, That'll be this video. Please stay tuned. I have another one coming today. I will be breaking down all of the Admirals promotions. I know I said I was going to get that to you guys, but family first. So, I mean, had to help the kids with homework. Got a lot to do. It's 2 in the morning. Going to get this uploaded. Got my other podcast to upload stuff too. So, thank you. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel.